Hello everyone, welcome back to Recover It, a channel where you get instant solutions to different technical issues. We're back with another episode, and today we've chosen to address some of the most common external hard drive issues that people encounter, as well as the best ways to resolve them. Now we've all been there, when one of our external hard drives just simply isn't responding, and we all get frustrated. Now if you have ever fallen into the same trap, Keep watching this episode, but first quickly tap the subscribe button down below so that you never miss out on any future updates. Now, before we talk about the most common hard drive failures, let's understand a few of the indications that you must look out for to know whether your hard drive is working fine or not. Now these signs of failure do vary from situation to situation and they mainly depend on what hardware issue your hard drive is dealing with. In any case though, here are some of the signs of hard drive failure that will indicate issues with your hard drive. Maybe you're unable to access your data on a hard drive, which usually happens due to either a malware attack or unexpected file corruption. Another common hardware failure is a continuous clicking sound that starts playing the moment you plug your hard drive into a system. Maybe you've lost all of your files due to some unexpected hard drive error, or perhaps as a few sectors on your hard drive have gone missing and so you're unable to access those files. If you're seeing any of these signs with your hard drive, it's quite possible that you're dealing with one of the many unexpected hard drive failures. To make your job easier, let's take a look at five of the most common hard drive problems as well as the best ways to resolve them. It is quite frustrating to plug your hard drive into a computer only to find that the system just isn't recognizing it. This usually happens if there's loose connections within the circuit that's connecting the USB port to the motherboard. In any case of physical damage, the best way to resolve the issue would be to visit a service center and get your system repaired by professionals. You should also look for any signs of physical damage on the hard drive itself, especially if you've recently dropped it accidentally. If this doesn't work, you can also perform a hard reset to troubleshoot the hard drive not showing. To do this, disconnect the battery or power input from your system. Make sure to disconnect all peripherals as well. After this, press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds. Then plug the power input back in and boot your system without connecting any peripherals. If you're still unable to access a hard drive after all of this, then it's most likely that the hard drive is physically damaged. Data loss on a hard drive can occur due to a wide variety of reasons, including malware attacks or accidental deletion. In any case, Losing valuable files is something that no one ever wants to encounter. Fortunately though, there are ways to tackle this problem. If you've ever lost any important files from a hard drive, then Recover It is the most reliable solution to get them back. It's a full-scale data recovery software that is specifically designed to retrieve accidentally deleted files from different storage devices. Recovery supports multiple file formats, which means you'll be able to recover all lost files, whether it's pictures, videos, or documents, etc. And the cherry on the top of it all is that Recover is available for both Windows and Mac OS. So regardless of your system that you're trying to access the drive on, you're covered. Now, as I mentioned earlier, hard drives can get corrupted due to several external factors. Now, if you're dealing with a corrupt hard drive as well, then I would personally recommend using the check disk command in command prompt. Now, this is an exclusive Windows utility, and it's designed to validate logical hard drive errors and then automatically resolve them. To run the check disk command, all you need to do is run the command prompt as an administrator and then execute the following command. Check disk, followed by the letter of the hard drive that you're having a problem with, forward slash F, forward slash R, forward slash X, and press enter. The check disk utility will now automatically scan and repair that hard drive and you'll be able to access your files right away. If you happen to see a dialog box with the message the parameter is incorrect in it, then there's a very big possibility that the hard drive is formatted in an incompatible file format. Now, in this situation, you will have to reformat the hard drive using either NTFS or FAT32 file systems. 
To do this, open your file explorer, right click on the hard drive volume and select format. In the next dialog box, use the drop down menu to choose the correct file format and click on format. Now you should be able to access the hard drive once the process completes. The fatal device hardware error is common in both internal and external hard drives. Now, if you're seeing this error, you can easily troubleshoot it by reinstalling the disk drivers. To do this, press the Windows and X key, click on Device Management, and then expand the Disk Drivers option. Now right-click on the hard drive that you're trying to troubleshoot, and here you will be able to click either Update Drivers, which will install the latest version of the disk drivers, or you can tap on Install Drivers, which will reinstall all of the drivers from scratch. As soon as you've updated or reinstalled the drivers, you'll then be able to gain access to the hard drive without encountering the hard drive failure error. So that wraps up today's episode on how to deal with the most common external hard drive issues. We hope this video has helped you resolve whatever hard drive issue was restricting you from accessing your valuable files. In case you still have any queries, then drop a comment down below and we'll address these issues either in a separate video or provide you with an instant solution through the comments. Also, if you found this video helpful, then don't forget to drop a like and share it with the people who might also benefit from it. And to see more updates like this in the future, be sure to subscribe to Wondershare Recover It.